Oh hi, welcome back to Black Dot Miniatures. I'm Kevin again. Today I'm bringing you a Nightmare Hulk out of the Gellerpox Infected box set. This dude's pretty gnarly. He looks like he's straight out of the ocean. So we're going to take a look at him and get him painted up. We started with a basic primer workup with a gray moving to a white, zenithly highlighting top down to catch all the details. Then we're going to come through with uh, Burnt Umber ink. I'm really starting to sell my soul to inks as a base coat because you can start with a real light top coat and then where you want to go through and reinforce any of the dark areas you just hit it again. Um, right there at the base of his stomach where the shadows are going to fall, we hit that a couple times just to reinforce the dark areas. Next, using a violet ink through the airbrush, we're going to go to those dark areas and hit them with some of this violet purple. It's really going to play well off the previous layer and make it look almost bruised and sickly looking. So the goal for this model was to give it an old bruised appearance. Alright, here we're coming in with some Minotaur Fresh Grass. We're just going give, to give it some variation, hit certain spots on it just to go from that purple to the brown to a green putrid decayed looking flesh. Again, we're going for a bruised look, but this will really make it pop and add some variety to the skin tone. Next we're going to come in with Nagarod Knight. We're going to put two layers down to make sure we get a nice opaque layer. Don't forget about the tentacles on his face while you're at it. So moving to Minotaur Lust Pink and Nagaroth Knight, we're going to start laying in some of the highlights. I wasn't super happy with this pink. Unfortunately, the Lust Pink was just a little bit too thin, and it just didn't leave the effect I wanted. We end up changing the pink coral later, and it gives us a much better effect. Yeah, here's me trying again the... Minotaur Lust Pink and Nagaroth Knight and it just did not want to work right. Throughout this entire video we struggled multiple times trying to get this pink just right. Alright, coming in with Vallejo Metal Color Steel, we're going to go ahead and pick out all the metal bits. The harpoon through his arm, the staples on his chest, and all the hooks throughout his body. Alright, so movie magic, but several trial and error coats later, this is what we ended up on. It's less pink and pink horror mixed one to one through the airbrush. Finally gave us the effect we were looking for, the nice transition between the dark purple to the light pinks on top. Alright, coming in with badger fur. He's got a whole bunch of little barnacles all over him and part of the squid also. So we go ahead and hit all of that with that out of the airbrush. A good substitution would be uh, Dawnstone by GW. All right, here's some more Pink Horror and Nagaroth Knight. Um, I saw a couple places that needed some highlights on the arm and then we also hit the face with this combination while we're at it. All 
All right, here we're coming in with Xander Dust. We're gonna go ahead and hit his claws, uh, his toenails, his hood, any uh, light tans we wanna start out with. This is a good one for doing claws in my opinion. All right, now moving to more Thane Brown. We're gonna go ahead and hit his belt, his bracer, um, the ropes on his ankle, and then also coming out the harpoon on his shoulder. Unfortunately, we were a little overexposed for these shots. Thankfully, this will be my last video using an iPhone. We're gonna be switching to an actual DSLR camera, so image quality, video quality should be going up in the next video. All right, next we're coming in with corn red. We're just picking out all the open gashes and sores on his body. Pick out the little ones throughout his body and then the uh, big cuts on his stomach. We're gonna go ahead and fill those in also. Alright, coming in with Army Painter Dark Tone, we're going to go ahead and go over all that badger fur we painted, and that'll just shade in all the recesses. We're going to come back and highlight it later on, and it'll really make these barnacles and all the little bumps on them pop. Alright, next we're using Armor Painter Midtone. We're going to go ahead and hit the hood. Go ahead and just put some nice shade in there. And uh, we're also going to do his teeth and claws while we're at it. Just to give it a nice uh, shade in the recesses and we'll highlight up. Alright, here we're using a Minestrade Gray. We're going ahead and picking out his fish, and then we're also going to get all the bumpy bits on his back that we did with Badger Fur a while ago. In between these steps, we also hit the fish with a, uh, a known oil black wash. So we were real selective in the beginning with the barnacles just to pick those out, but then we kind of moved to a more wet dry brush style because there's so many bumps. As long as you're not super aggressive, it gives you a very good effect for minimal work. All right, coming in with two to one pink cord and Niagara out tonight. We're just picking out the final highlights on the arm and then we're also gonna do the tentacles on his face. Um, I don't have the footage for it, unfortunately, but we hit this thing with about three, two to three layers of Drucci Violet just to darken it back down and make it all mesh back to the Nagaroth Knight. Same with this face. Alright, coming in with Xander Dust, we're going to go ahead and reinforce what we shaded down a while ago, pick it back up, start putting some initial highlights in there that we're going to reinforce later on. We're going to hit him with an Agrax, we're going to do the uh, wrist guard, and then also some of the folds in his fish fat. We're going to hit that just to uh, make the shadow stand out a little bit more. Also get his belt while we're at it. With these fold highlights, I try and hit towards the top of the bottom area, so on his leg, try and hit the top of his leg, bottom of his stomach, because that's where a shadow is going to naturally fall. And we also fill in the open lacerations on his stomach. All right, coming in with the bad and black, we're gonna go ahead and hit his uh, wine cloth. All 
Alright, and using Warpstone Glow, we pick out the drips coming out of these open lacerations. Alright, going one to one with Shabdy Bone and Xandru Dust. Now we're going to start laying in some of the bigger highlights on his helmet. And then we're also going to start working our way down the claws and the toenails. About halfway for this one. Halfway down the claws. And then later we'll come in with full Yushabdi Bone and just hit the tips. Alright, now we're using Evil Sun Scarlet. We're going to go ahead and fill in the eyes of the squid. We want to use this big bright tone just to draw attention to it, make it stand out. Next, coming in with more Vein Brown again. We're taking the Agrax layer that we had and just highlighting it. Basic workup. Yeah, here you can see real well where the uh, Druchi Violet came in and darkened that back down. So now we're on full Yushapi Bone. We're hitting the tips of the teeth, tips of the hood highlights, tips of the fingernails. Just working our way around the model, staying busy. Alright, so after all those layers of Juchi Violet, I said it got too dark. And we hit it back with that pink lust again. With all the layers of the Druchi Violet, with this underneath of it, it all just melded together at this point and looks great. Alright, coming in with Vallejo Metal Color Silver, we're just going to highlight all of the staples, the little studs on his bracer, the hooks around his body, just different stuff we find. Now we're on to Screamer Pink. Originally I wasn't going to do this, and I looked at it more and more and said, yeah, don't be lazy. So we hit all the suction cup areas with a nice base coat of Screamer Pink. With this model in particular, just give it a couple look overs, because it has so many hidden tentacles and suction cups that you're going to miss a couple initially. I know I did. Now we're on the pink core. I thought I was going to be a hero here and individually highlight every single suction cup. We abandoned ship about midway, went to a dry brush. With it having pink core in the top side of the tentacle already, it doesn't really matter if you get some over spray or over brush onto it. Alright, finally we're coming in with Druchi Violet. We're just going to bring that down giving it some shadows on the uh, recesses of the suction cups. So as you can see, I went ahead and put him on a basic water base. Just figure he's a creature of the ocean. He's going to be running in, running out. Let's base him like the champ he is. Love the way he turned out. This only took about two and a half hours to get him to this level. There's some things I could have kept doing, kept taking it to a higher standard, but at a certain point, you just have to work on the next one. Again, thank y'all. This has been Black Dot Miniatures and Paints. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check back next week. We're trying to keep an every Thursday video schedule, so should be something new coming to you next Thursday. Thanks. Bye for now.